Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Anatomy of a Goal. I'm Greg Lawless from MLSsoccer.com. You know, to me, there's nothing as cool as a goal that results from a quickly taken free kick. There's something just so satisfying about seeing someone recognize the moment and be willing to take a chance. And that's exactly what led to Ryan Johnson's goal for the Portland Timbers in a 2-1 win over the LA Galaxy on Saturday, July 13, 2013. Let's wind it back and break it down. Before we get started, we should just say that quickly taken free kick doesn't always mean it's taken immediately, it just means it's taken before the defense has a chance to set up. In this case, Diego Valeri is standing over the ball for a decent amount of time, while the Galaxy players are preoccupied with marking up in the middle. They all assume the ball will be swung into the mixer. Now because of that, there's a bit of confusion, and more importantly, a big open space behind the defense. Let's clear one thing up. That Timbers player in the middle, he is not offside because he ends up not being part of the play. Now let's get to the real stuff. A couple of things make the initial pass possible. One, Valeri obviously never asked for 10 yards. If he had, he would have had to wait for the whistle. There is no whistle. Two, despite not being asked to back off, Rodgers does, basically opening up the channel for Valeri to play the ball. And three, Valeri is still standing over the ball when Nagby makes his run. So, when Nagby glances at him to make eye contact, which is how he alerts Valeri to what's about to happen, Valeri is still close enough to the ball to flick the pass through. Now that understanding and that eye contact is key. I'm sure that the Timbers work on quick set pieces like this at times, not by running drills or drawing up sequences on a chalkboard, but by encouraging players to think quickly and take risks in the final third. It also helps to have creative players like Valeri and Nagby. So we've talked about how the Timbers got away with it, but what happened on the Galaxy side? We already mentioned Robbie Rogers backing off, but there are a couple other things to notice. Keane has his back to the ball. He's busy trying to play director for all the defense. Another thing to notice, goalkeeper Carlo Cudicini still trying to set up his wall. He wants two men in there, not just the one. So he's not quite ready when the play comes through. There is one Galaxy player who is alert to the danger, Marcelo Sarvis. And he's simply unlucky that Nagby's cross goes through his legs and to the wide open Ryan Johnson for the tap-in. And even tap-ins get a slice of the log. I'm Greg Lawless from MLSsoccer.com. Join me again next time. We'll wind it back and break it down.